There is a less invasive surgical option for treating some forms of gynecologic cancers with the robotic-assisted procedure. We spoke to Dr. Alberto Mendeville at Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center, who tells us the types of cancers on which the robotic procedure can be used. Well, I am a board-certified gynecologic oncologist, and the main surgeries, main uh, diseases that we treat are cervical cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer. Um, and the types of surgeries that we perform are the main surgery is a hysterectomy. Um, the type of surgery that's amenable to a robotic assisted procedure is a hysterectomy, removing the tubes in the ovaries. Uh, and the main uh, advantage that we see with a robotic assisted hysterectomy or robotic assisted procedure is that it's a minimally invasive operation, meaning we do a major operation through very small incisions. And the robotic platform is a machine that has three or four arms and instruments are attached to those arms. First, and small incisions have to be made on the patient. This is while the patient is asleep. Once those small incisions are made, instruments are placed directly inside the patient's abdomen and the abdomen is inflated with gas. And this is a laparoscopic based procedure and traditionally laparoscopy um, has been done using uh, small incisions with instruments that are placed by the surgeon and the surgeon stands immediately next to the patient and performs the operation. Well, with a robotic assisted procedure, the robot gets attached to these instruments and then I, the surgeon, will step away about five or 10 feet away from the patient and I will sit down at a console where I will look through a viewer and I will use arms that are on this viewer, on this console machine, to direct and move the machine itself. There are several advantages to robotic surgery. Uh, the, uh, the, robotic, the robot itself allows us to perform very precise uh, movements uh, you're basically putting a computer between my hands and the movement of the machine. And by that, it allows us to have uh, an incredible amount of accuracy. The machine itself is in three dimensions, um, as opposed to just looking at a, at a television monitor, which would be in two dimensions. Um, there's a several degrees of freedom of the hands, meaning that the machine and the instruments move just like the human hand moves, uh, in, uh, up and down, side to side, in and out. Um, it's also in high definition, and so the image that gets produced from the, uh, from the viewer gets translated to the movements that I do is incredibly precise, incredibly accurate, um, and there are several advantages for doing the procedure in this fashion. Um, we know that there is an, a decreased uh, risk of infection, there's a significant decrease in blood loss, uh, we know that patients leave the hospital significantly sooner rather than having a large open uh, uh, incision using these small incisions, using the robotic uh, uh, tool, the robot tool, it allows patients to return to their normal function faster. And that translates for us into able, being able to treat these patients much quicker after surgery. Where do you think technology of the robotic assisted surgery will be in the next five years? The machine itself was first produced to be used in the battlefield. Uh, to have the machine attached to a soldier out in the battlefield and the surgeon could be somewhere hundreds or even thousands of miles away uh, performing the operation under the safety of a controlled environment. Uh, and that's still a possibility. We just, we don't have the technology yet to transfer such a large amount of complex data uh, over the internet, so to speak. Um, and I think that that's going to be still a reality in the future is to be able to perform these very complex procedures hundreds or even thousands of miles away. 10, 15 years ago, we were, we were doing these same operations through very large incisions. Now we can do these operations through three, sometimes four incisions, and sometimes even, even using a, a small single incision. And so the technology is allowing us to do these operations in a more and more minimally invasive fashion.